Hello everyone, welcome back to Front Mission again, with a very interesting screen of absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't know where the enemy is, kind of in the dark here, what the hell am I doing? Okay, right, killing things. <laughs> mm, ah, mm, zug zug. Oh no. Um, yeah, guess what's coming out? Devil May Cry 5 hot dog and everyone's whining their heads off. Frankly, I'm looking forward to, you know, change. But whatever. Haters gonna hate. So we're gonna finish this and, um... <sighs> Come on. Um, I noticed a few things. Uh, the next couple battles will be very story-driven. I might not actually be able to edit it out too much. So, excuse me, but I, I guarantee you there are battles in here that are just, there's no point in them story-wise, all it is is killing shit, that's it. Man, if he, J, Keith here needs to start getting attacked, his agility is terrible. Um, I just remembered something too, because he can learn five skills, if you add the one long range skill and the three short range, he can learn double. He has this. He has a slot for it, but I don't care. If I put double on, it'll, it'll make me feel obligated to make him melee or something like that. Um, let's have someone else kill that guy. What? Oh, someone's there. <laughs> I think he's surrounded. Oh well. Okay, fine. We'll just have JJ kill him. And that should be the end of the battle. Finally. And we save Paul. I, I sure hope I remember saving Paul. <laughs> there we go. That's it. I've taken some, I haven't touched you. At all. Well, that, what? No! Blew up the hospital. What the hell? Well... It's no use. Everyone's burning up. Great. So I think Karen's dead again. Huh. Aw. And we have a touching moment. I'm just gonna keep pressing O. Well, it's A, but on my PS3 controller it's O. It's funny because Huffman Island is a non-existent island. If you've yeah, it's just like half of it is controlled by like the OCU, half is by the USN. You see, yeah. Wait, I said it right. Never mind. Hmm. And ah. Oh. Oh. You know, this this they add these scenes just in case like because they did because they technically killed her off so early they're like, "Okay, now we need you to actually give a shit about Karen." Which works fairly well. Oh no! Just had to remember this, didn't you? That was weird. Oh hey, I just noticed that the trees look not nearly as good as they do in the DS version. We never did learn what Karen saw. What was in this factory? Hmm. Mission complete! 
Uh, if you're wondering, if you manage to kill uh, Driscoll here, it ends the battle regardless of how many things you kill. And he gives a shitload of money. It al is also possible to destroy the truck. But if you destroy it, they're just like, oh hey, we're hurt. And then they get away anyways. It's kind of lame. I'm going to see Hans. Do you want to hold Hans? Informant for... Uh, he's not an informant. He's a hacker. Apparently, Colonel Olsen is here. Court Marshal. Yeah, deal with it. General Blakewood is apparently our leader. Olsen's kind of starting to be a dick now, isn't he? Just funny, because I am going to leave this town. <laughs> Seeker Hans. Well, we need to go here first. The hell is up with his helmet? Damn hackers. Reminds me of that freaking kid in was it Friday the 13th Part 4? I don't know. Oh gee, I wonder who he's going to try and find. Yeah, Genius Hacker Hands. Oh boy. And we have to do this still scene because um, Yang will, is, will temporarily leave until you, you know, actually do the scene. Ah, so she's looking for her brother. Will she find him? I don't know. Um, but, uh, one second here. Uh, hey, sorry about that. I had to go to the washroom in Noah. While I, after I did that, I kind of grinded out some money. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the bar. The Tiger Eye. And here's Paul. Why? Yes, I would, because he, Paul, like I said, Paul is the, one of the best long-range users in the game. Paul C. Griever. And we also need to talk to someone here. I th is it this person? No. Mostly about a big fire. So I sneaked away from there. So this guy managed to escape before I, that hospital blew up. Ridgy? Ridgy? What the heck? That's not a very woman name. Well, apparently nothing. There's a guy named Alder. Well, we met him before. He's an awesome mercenary. Like me. Huh. Well, let's get out of here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Manasa and talk to Alder. But first, I'm gonna save. Yes, I would like to exit the town. So we're gonna go back, go to the bar, and talk to Alder. Against orders. But then again, we apparently like breaking orders. Why? Yes, I would. A special chance? Okay, so we gotta beat him in the arena. Or the Coliseum. Whatever you want. And you'll automatically go straight into the battle. And as you can see, he's got fight short and a decent amount of uh, dodge. Hmm. So what are we gonna use? I kinda... You have to use Lloyd. I kind of equipped him with stuff. I'm gonna tell you what I equipped him with later. But as you can see, he has an regret now. And I'm gonna use that. Of course, he's gonna melee me first. Hopefully these will hit. 
That's good enough for me. Please don't use your melee. And, of course, he uses his melee. He's like, oh, hey, you're going to use missiles. Hit my body. Aw. I was expecting him to hit my body. Wow. Way to spread the damage. Well, fine, then. You want to be a dick like that? We're going to pap 55 you. Apparently, which does diddly dick. And we lost. Of course. Because God fucking forbid. One second, please. Okay, um, I'm just, this is the last person I'm equipping. I'm just going to show you what I've been equipping him with. Now, this is Moth version 5s. It has a lot of power, in increase of defense and HP, and nothing, everything else basically comes up to it. There's no reason to not use Moth version 5. Body. Arm-wise, I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Always use Moth version 5s. Legs. Again, Moth version 5 gives you a lot of HP and defense, but just so you know, um, Grops give you more movement at the sacrifice of less HP. And they're also lighter, but I'm still going to use Moths. Because we need as much survival. Now, computer-wise, this gives you 28 and everything. I'll lose a little short, but he will gain some long and some agility. So I pretty much equipped everyone with that. Um, there's no new backpacks. Weapon-wise... There is a Tonfa, which is better than the arm, so you, you'll see people with Tonfas now. The Leo Social is, well, as you can see, it's only got one more power and way of four, but I can spare the money. I'll get it anyways. As for the rifle, there's only one, and that's Empire. Same thing, one power, but for a rifle, one power means shit all. Don't bother. There's a new weapon, a shotgun. Shotguns ha have less power than rifles, but are way more accurate. This is a flamethrower. It almost seems like a worse shotgun. I don't know why you want a flamethrower just for the sake of using it. A smasher, compared to what um, Keith had, was no better. But a note was, so it's like three more power. And for shoulders, they actually sell egrets now. And if you want, they, if you want three shots still, this is three more power than the Galvados. But I want egrets. No new shields. Other than that. Like I said, everyone's in full moth. If they got long range, it's an aggret. If it's a machine gun, it should be a Leo Social. And if you're wondering what... This is Paul. His name... His wand is called uh, Rainbow. He doesn't have one yet because remember that Piz uh, rocket launcher? We're going to give him that. And now, uh, this is Cowboy. This is Alder. He's not very good at long, so we're not going to give him long. We're going to make him shorten... Uh, melee. So, because he doesn't need long, he can equip two shields. This makes him a bit more defensive. You can kind of make him kamikaze a bit better. Anyways. Let's go to setup here. And I'm going to put that awesome missile launcher on Paul. Where is it? Yeah, Piz 8. Three missiles. We it doesn't shoot three times, but that'll be okay. Because we get our own truck very soon. Alright, vacation's over. Apparently we were on vacation. Well, I'm just going to speed it up here. Fighting aside the regulars. Hey, it's Pee-wee! What is he doing? This is Pee Wee Richburg Jr. From now on, he will be serving you as our supply car driver. Why? His last operation frightened him, and he tried to desert. <laughs> oh. Poor guy. Heh. <laughs> well. Carry all your possessions. We can change equipment. Uh, like, hand equipment and shoulder equipment. I think shoulder equipment. While we stand beside it, it will reload our missiles, and it will repair everything. Uh, by a percentage and fix broken parts. It's very useful. And in the beginning, it actually has um, a pretty good defense. So Pee Wee is actually a decent tank. This is the military strength. And if you want, sorry, you had to pause that, but sorry, I'm, I'm kind of pushing it. I got to end the video right there. So when you see me tomorrow, we'll take out those SAMs.